be a wonderful wife this month and totally off the chart next month. God help me. You can be a, a loving and devoted husband this week. My wow. wife did something you didn't like next week and you're off the chart. Because you didn't die. And let me tell you something. We can know when we're out of order. You know what? You didn't die. You didn't die. You gotta die daily. You gotta die daily. You get on your knees before God and say, Lord, kill Donnie some more. Kill Eric some more. Lord, help me, God. Lord, I know I'm hurt. And I know I can have an attitude. And I know in man that I, my, my attitude don't have to be ugly. It just be a silent attitude, but it's still an attitude. Yeah. Carbon monoxide will kill you. Yes, you don't even smell it. You don't have no sin at all, but it, 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 it'll kill you like a man, a, a gas that you can smell, and then it'll knock you out. Gas can kill you, you get too much of it, but you can smell gas, amen, you can go, amen, in a, in a building, a, in a kitchen, and you're, oh my God, gas smell it. Boy, if you don't get help, that gas can kill you. Carbon monoxide, you can be in the kitchen. You can be laying in your, in your house, and you don't smell it at all. You go in your room with three by three, your member's already dead. Didn't smell it. My God. What area do we need to die out to tonight? Lord help us. What can God trust us to die out to? Can God trust us to die out to? We're just going to obey his word. We're going to do what he says to do. When he says to do it, how he says to do it. Can God trust us to die out? Amen to where we need to die out to. I want to break out here. I don't want to. I do. I, I, I want God to do something for Brother Chuck. But, but I got to die out to me. I got to die out to me. I got to die out to doing just the way I want to do it, when I want to do it, how I want to do it. And I can't die out of myself. I got to go to God and say, Lord, help me to die out daily. Help me to die out. Help me to keep dying. When revival is over, when fellowship meeting is over, when fellowship meeting is over, when we get back to the routines, I gotta keep dying out. If I was to ask you tonight, what did you die out to today? What did you die out to yesterday? What did you die out to Monday? That's good. Well, my flesh don't wanna, hey man, come to church. I need to die out. Flesh may even want to tie. I gotta die out to that. Amen. I mean, I may want to do something else. Amen. I gotta die out. Amen. Flesh may not want to come to Sister's prayer meeting on Thursday. You got many things you can do. You gotta die out. Flesh may not want to come to Sunday school prayer or, or Sunday time prayer. We gotta die out. Say the flesh is our enemy. It's not our friend. Crucified with Christ, nevertheless, I live. Hey, ah! It's too much I living, not I. He said, It's Christ that liveth in me. So our thoughts of the night is daily, daily dying, daily dying. You got to die out to the flesh more than you brush your teeth. Look at how you brush your teeth today. You wake up tomorrow, your mouth been closed all night long. Oh, yeah. That's dragon breath. I think some people think I've heard they've been more than once say their breath never stinks. But first thing in the morning, your mouth been closed all night long. You see, I see when my mouth open, it still stinks. <laughs> You gotta daily brush your teeth. You gotta daily brush your teeth. You gotta daily work on that. You gotta daily work on that. Church of God tonight, amen. What are we gonna do? Are we gonna die daily? Are we gonna die out daily? Are we gonna die daily? When we stop dying, when we stop dying, we're gonna get off the road to heaven, church. Lord, 
Oh. And you know what we'll get to after a while? We'll get to where we have a form of God. Mm. We get to where we have a form of godliness. We're still going on with the name of religion. We're still going on with Church of God. But boy, amen, attitudes, funny acting, feelings, you know why? Because somewhere along the line, we mm. stop dying. We find a man in the Word of God, a man in the book of St. Matthew, chapter 16, uh, verse number 21 uh, through 25. St. Matthew, chapter 16, uh, verse 21. Okay, let's see, what, let's see what the Bible says there. In Matthew 16, 21, from that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go to Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and the chief priests and the scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. And Peter, Peter took Jesus and began to rebuke Jesus. And see, Peter didn't like that. Amen. You mean you're going to go and you're going to suffer and you're going to die? And Peter, amen, in the human, took Jesus and began to rebuke him. And what, Sister Sherry? Be far from thee, Lord. He said, amen, to Jesus, be far from thee, Lord. This shall not be unto thee. This shall not be unto thee. But he turned and said unto Peter. But he turned and said to Peter. Get thee behind me. Get thee behind me, Peter. You are an offense to me. Look, amen. You're saving the things of what? But those that be offense. You're not saving the things of God. You're saving the things of man. Yeah. And when we stop dying out, we're saving the things of man. Right. We're looking after the flesh. We want to make it easy on our flesh. We want, amen, to make it easy on our flesh. That's just the way I am. That's the way we are. That's how we do things. We, we, we need to die out to our flesh. God. And we need to die daily. We need to die daily. Lord, help me to die today. Lord, it's Thursday. Help me to die today. Thursday is over. It's Friday. Help me to die Friday. Lord, tomorrow, help me to die some more. Help me to have shed my grace. Help me to have the right attitude. Help me to receive judgment. Help me to receive whatever it is. Amen. My flesh don't want to die daily, but it's got to die daily. Without dying daily, the flesh starts sleeping. Yes, sir. Without dying daily, the flesh starts having its way. Without dying daily, the flesh starts getting impatient. Without dying daily, the flesh starts murmuring and complaining. Without dying daily, the flesh starts, amen, getting spiritually lazy. Without dying daily, the flesh starts getting more sensitive in areas where it don't need to be so sensitive. So we got to die daily. We got to die daily. God gives us an example of taking care of the human body. You got to take care of some things daily. You got to take care of some things daily. Yes, sir. You got to bathe daily. You got to brush your teeth daily. You got to do these things daily. 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 There's some people that don't do it and they have body odor. Yes, sir. And there's some people that don't do it, amen, too many days and they're just plum state. Oh, my God. Oh, Lord, I'm not spiritually sleeping before God. My God, Lord, help us. Because I'm not dying out. Mm. Is that the problem in the home? That's the problem on the job. Mm. I'm not dying, David. Husband need to find a secret place and say, God, help me to die. Wife need to find a secret place. Lord, help me to die. Young people need to find a secret place. We've got to die, sir, and we need to zero in on it. Because whether we realize it or not, if we're not dying, brother, we're getting out of order in some area of our life. Lord help us. Maybe we're getting too bossy. Maybe we're becoming that man where, 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 where I, I got to win every argument. Maybe that man I'm getting a bit too proud about my accomplishments. Maybe the spirit of pride is beginning to work on me more than it should be. There's always something to die every day, every day. There's something to die. Lord, maybe I can be more humble in my spirit. Maybe I can be more easily be approached, God. 
Let me tell you something. When we die out the way God wants us to die, he said, but if it die, it brings forth what? Much fruit. Much fruit. 